everyone, this is Austin from Nerf FI Core, and this is Nerf Grizzing episode 42. So I got this stuff on October 25th, so it has been a while, but I got some awesome stuff in this Nerf Grizzing haul, including this rival mask. So yes, I did get a Team Blue Nerf rival mask, and I got it for $5.99, which isn't the greatest price to be honest, but it is okay because it is a Team Blue mask and it's in good condition. Now let's get on to the blasters. So first I got the Nerf Elite Strato Bow. So I got it for $6.99, which isn't the greatest price either, but I actually really like this blaster. I've had a lot of fun with it, and I actually think it's a pretty decent blaster, like, in terms of practicality. And um, when I was searching around in the Goodwill, I found five Whistler darts just laying it on the shelf, so I just stuck them in here. So overall, I think this is a pretty good deal. So next we have not a blaster, but a super soaker. This is the XP220 by Laramie from 1999, and I got it for $1.99, which I think is a pretty good deal. So what really caught my attention with this super soaker was, first of all, the colors. It really stood out to me because it has those bright neon colors that a lot of vintage blasters have. Um, but also, the shape of it. It really resembles the Maxi 3000 and is pretty much identical to the Maxi 3000. So it does work, and as you can see, there's actually still some water in the water tank from when I was testing it. And overall, I think that this was a pretty cool find. Now let's go on to some rare stuff. So here we have the Nerf AirTech 2000. So I was not aware that this was a rare blaster. In fact, I didn't even know that this thing existed. But I think about three days before I went thrifting, I found out that this is actually rare, and then I go thrifting and I find one, which is really funny, actually. It's definitely a big coincidence. I got it for a $2.99, which I think is a really good price for this thing, and it's in great condition. Like, on this side looks great. Um, there is a little mark over here, but that's about it. Like, the, it's in really good condition. And the Liquidtron power gauge thing, it does go up when I pump it, so that's pretty nice. And it does seem to work. However, I don't have any ammo for this thing. I can't seem to fit in elite darts or like full length darts. So I'm wondering because I know that th that this thing came with darts that were very similar to the Busby sticky darts. Are those proprietary ammo like only for this? Because I can't seem to fit any elites or full length darts. Please let me know in the comment section below. But overall, I think that this is a great find. Next we have something that I am really happy to find, and is probably the thing that I'm the most excited about in this haul. The Secret Shot. I am so happy to find one of these. So first, let's talk about the condition. It's in phenomenal condition. So if you look at the Nerf sticker over here, no damage whatsoever. There's like a little mark right here, but it's like hardly noticeable. And then on this side, the Secret Shot sticker is also in really good condition, except it sort of like flaked off a little right there. but. That's really about it. Like, it's in really nice condition. Um, it does work. I did have to dry fire it once, but, I mean, I had to make sure it worked. And I don't have any old school megas, and this didn't come with any old school megas, but it does work. So, that's pretty nice. And I got it for $2.99, which is an awesome, really awesome price for something like this. Now, I remember, too, when I was in the Goodwill and I first found this thing, it was kind of buried, like, like it was on the top shelf, and it was kind of buried under stuff. And I just remember seeing, like, the grip and the, the a little bit of the sticker and the priming handle, and I instantly knew what it was, and just, I pulled it out, and just the excitement of holding this thing was awesome. Like, I was in awe when I saw this. This is an awesome find, and for $2.99, really cool. And that concludes this episode of Nerf Thrifting. I got some awesome stuff in this haul. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.